Okay, this is just an off-the-cuff recording about Telesto, which has become the best fusion rifle in the Crucible, which is so crazy, I can't get over it. But I've got to talk about it right now because it could go away. Like, they could change this today by the time I put this up. So if you're listening to this and it's not the second version where you shoot it and it sticks like normal and then it blows up and bounces everywhere, then we've moved on to something else. But there is something that has changed about it that is very, very important that... No one's really talking about, and I'm going to talk about it right now. The delay on Telesto is gone. There was this delay that happened whenever you shot the bolt and it'd stick to the player, slight delay, and then they'd blow up. That's just the way it's always worked, and that's why it's a gun that I always stayed away from, because it was bad in the 1v1 dueling uh, position. And what I mean by that is I'm not saying that it was bad, like it's a bad gun. You can use it to great effect. It's great for a lot of different counters. But what I mean by that is if you're 1v1 against another fusion player, they're, the other fusion player is either going to win or you're going to draw most of the time. If they're like of equal skill, you're going to win or you're going to draw. And so the problem with that is I don't like that. that, that those aren't good odds. And so the delay was the reason I stayed away from Telesto. Even though it can hit from crazy ranges, if you don't know, Telesto doesn't have a range cap because of the way the bolts work, and there's like that delay and then the explosion. So it's not like as soon as they hit, or at least before, as soon as they hit, it would delay and then the full number of the explosion. But now that it is like this, it just hits and does that number no matter what the range is. And people aren't talking about this. I think it's insane. But now, the, so so here here's the deal. This is why it's so, so good is because one, the dueling potential is fixed. You can 1v1 and you can win that one because you were better, period. There's no delay, you just kill them. You pre-charge perfectly, they're dead. And then on top of that, you have the old benefit of any range. The range doesn't matter. It will kill them no matter what. As long as you hit your bolts, you're gonna kill them. It's like damage stacking, where you damage stack so much you can overcome the range barrier. Doesn't even matter, don't need extra damage. You can just kill them. Uh, there is some extra damage stuff we'll talk about in a second that helps for higher resil. Um, this is like a precision frame. It does 39 damage a bolt, but then one damage. Telesto is really weird. It does 39 and then one damage for impact. But sometimes the numbers get kind of funky, and usually that should kill at every resilience, but it just it gets weird at higher resiliences at a distance. Um, and I it, it's, not a, it's not an issue with the numbers not doing enough. It's an issue with something between the impact of the projectile. Anyway doesn't matter, I'll get to that in a second. Okay, so number one, the 1v1 dueling potential is fixed. Number two, the range is unlimited. I took it into rumble, quick play, everything, and it was just, it was blowing my mind. I could hit shots that were just insane. I'm gonna let some of those clips play as I'm talking about this, but also on top of all of that, I went into a private lobby to test it to see like, okay, well, how far can I hit reliably? 30 meters, no problem. No fusion in the game can do that right now. 30 meters, unless you're in a rift do, doing damage stacking, something like that, 30 meters is frankly impossible. I was just testing with Rangefinder, the Epicurean, the other day in higher zoom stuff, and it falls off damage about 20 meters, and by 22 meters, I think it is, like you can't do enough damage to one shot, even if you hit all the bolts. So it becomes like, oh, well, it's just not gonna work, or at least a reasonable amount of bolts. Telesto doesn't care. It will kill you at 30 meters, no problem. No problem. Like, I was amazed at how easy, and I felt it in the game. I knew this was going to be the case when I went into the private lobby. And the thing is, it's always been this way. Like, Telesto could always do this, but it's immediate. So before, it would hit around them, but maybe there's a chance there's some extra stat stuff going on too. I don't think so. It does feel really sticky, but I feel like it's always felt that way. Um, it's just that the bolts around them took longer to explode, and now it just hits them immediately. Um, so 30 range, no problem. 35 meters was more difficult, but I could hit that too. Uh, we had some sort of res check there. This is what I'm talking about. Um, but the explosion around them still killed them. So it's not that big of a problem. And not on, on top of that, this is where I'm getting with the damage stacking stuff, the higher resilience stuff. You can run your Falcons right now. Um, because this may only be around for a day, so who knows? So just use it to your advantage. I'm just giving you this info like, hey, Telesto's broken, not broken in just the sense that like, it's broken in PvE and is doing weird stuff and there's some puzzle going on and there's stuff on social media about Telesto um, with Destiny's Twitter account just going crazy being taken over by Telesto, but also it's broken in Crucible. Like it's really, 
really good. If you want to go grind out some comp and make some people angry, you could probably do that. If this stays until trials, which I don't think that it will, it's Wednesday right now that I'm recording this, uh, Wednesday night, so I, I bet it'll change Thursday. Maybe by the time this video comes out, I'm debating putting it out tonight. I feel like I'll do it in the morning just for the sake of people being able to see it. Um, but yeah, it's it's crazy good. I cannot emphasize it enough. I, I just went over all of this with I was on Firing Range tonight podcast, Destiny Community podcast, Firing Range with Cool Guy Fallout, Cami Cakes, and that was awesome. And the first thing I started talking about was this Telesto. I was like, guys, did you realize? that the impact is there's no delay anymore. It just blows people up. It's so good. And so then I jumped in immediately after into this. That's why the video is probably not gonna come out till the morning, but golly, it's so good. It's so, so good. You're gonna hit shots that you didn't think you would hit and that would happen anyways, I feel like, but without the delay, it is just so much cleaner. I feel like maybe there's even a chance you're hitting shots you wouldn't hit at range, but regardless of any of that the 1v1 potential is there again and that wasn't there for me before i'm not trading anymore and that is the point point. and if this stays wow it's it's really really good and of course the bombs the bombs are insane that explode afterwards like it's just icing on the cake to all of this i can't believe i almost forgot it i was looking through the clips and i was like oh my gosh so many of these kills happen because you just leave somebody one and then the little balls bounce off and they do anywhere from like 15 to 50 damage it's it's insane really it's just the perfect amount to finish off and it happens so much at range and the way that you know usually a telesto bolt is like on the ground and they have to specifically move over it now if they're just somewhere in the vicinity it'll just bounce out at them and just kill them it's so so good telesto is so broken right now in the best way possible. Okay, so technically the charge time says 820, but it does not feel that bad. It does not feel slow by any means. It doesn't feel slow. It just feels like it kills incredibly fast, uh, which which I just have gone on and on about this whole video. The, so look, to summarize, just gonna say it one more time. Number one, 1v1 dueling potential. You're not trading anymore. It can hit unlimited range. As long as you hit your shots, it feels really sticky up to about 30 to 35 meters, somewhere in there. And then on top of all of that, the bouncing of the bolts in case something doesn't line up. Incredible. So go nuts, have fun. Until next time. No. Okay, wait. If you're new here, this has been Lego, aka Legoli Flash. I'm so glad to have you here. Normally, everything's a little more cinematic, but it's Telesto time and everything could change tomorrow or the next day. So I had to get this out right away. I hope y'all enjoy it. I had a lot of fun messing around with this. I'm terrified if it stays. Until next time, GG.